a big old region. Morning, Monty. Hi. Did you sleep good, buddy? Did you? Oh, yeah? Oh. Stinky doggy. Oh, so we got our rain. Huh. It seems like it just stopped just now. Interesting. What do you think about that, Monty? Monty, you got a big butt. Monty, you got a big booty. Look at your maddiness. So, uh, yeah, we got our rain. It, it's been peaceful. It's just been, uh, I don't know, it's sort of like four in the morning. Over three. Somewhere in there. Well, it's been going, but it's still going. It's very light right now, though. Barometric pressure has dropped to 28.45. Okay. So for being scientists, one would guess that a drop in barometric pressure could bring rain. Whoa. <laughs> Monty thinks that this bag is a treat. But it's just my camera bag. Get your little, just do you little wise. Monty. Do you want to go for the dog park? Oh, oh, oh it's Monty Vision! Whoa! Whoa! Wee 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 Woo! It's like, Dad, I think you're actually a crazy person. No, my dear, I'm not crazy. Maybe I am, but I don't know. Whoa! I am going to make my coffee and oatmeal sit right here in the tent. We're just going to make it in the vegetable. It's not gonna be glamorous. Um, I don't feel like setting up the tarp right now. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is while I'm making my coffee and oatmeal is I'm going to pack up everything in the tent. So the only thing that I'm not gonna pack up in my bag is gonna be my tent and the rain fly and the poles and the stakes. And then I'll look at my maps, and depending on if there's portages or not, I might even keep my rain flat out of my bag. Because I don't think there's too many crazy portages. I don't even think, I don't even know if we're portaging today. I don't know, Monty. I don't know, but anyways, yeah. If it's going to be all wet, I might keep it out. Alright, rain's coming back. Okay, let's make some coffee and oatmeal. Yeah. The rain picked up again and then it stopped, so I just got my oatmeal going on out there. Look, just looks cloudy and ominous. Monty's, Monty's over here eating his breakfast with pumpkin. And now I'm gonna peek over the maps while I'm waiting for everything to cook up and then we're gonna pack.
pretty frisky little critter. So, seems to have stopped raining for now. Bring it here, Monty. Bring it here. Yeah, it's a little chilly out. It's a little bit drizzly, but it's not raining. It's a little breezy. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back to where I was catching all those bass yesterday. I'm just gonna walk over there, take a few short casts, see if I can pick one up, you know, just to start my day off right. And I say now I'll just catch one, but maybe we'll catch a few, but today is just mostly a paddle day. We've got to paddle down this big lake and turn around, and I think we got like two portages, maybe three. Depending, I, I could take a route where we've only got one and a little insignificant portage. But I might do an extra portage, depending. It, it depends how I'm feeling, depends if it's raining. We'll see where we're at, but yeah, I'm just gonna finish up my oatmeal here. Pack up. And then we're gonna take a few casts over there. See if we can pick up a fish. Come on, bring it here. Don't taunt me like this. Monty, you bring that, bring it here. Come on. Bring it here, Monty. Come on, Monty. Stop taunting me with that stick. You bring it here right now, mister. Monty? Monty, I will comb you. I'll brush you. Oh yeah, that got him. He didn't like that. He didn't like that one bit. You gonna bring it here? You, you, I'll keep throwing it. You bring it here. This is this is all on you. This isn't on me. I'm willing and able to keep throwing you this stick. Monty, what, what goes through your head when you're deciding to bring me the stick back or just shake it around, pretend it's an animal that you're killing? Huh? Is there some instinct? Instinct? Ooh, bouncy bunny! See, in that time he decided he'd take it to the shore, sniff around, smell whatever smell that is, to be a dog. A little pile of poop here. I wonder what kind of poop it is. What animal? Human? Don't think it's a bear or a deer. It could be a wolf. I don't know. I don't know what kind of poop that is, but Monty decided to take that little nugget there and have a little bit of a chew on it and it was disgusting and I'm ashamed of him yeah why would you eat that poop did it taste like something that you wanted that's so gross who are you you're dead to me you're dead to me I'm leaving you behind See ya. Shouldn't ate that poop. Have a nice life. Little poop eater. I'm not kidding, I'm leaving you. I'm just, no, no, stay, 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 I'm coming, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. My dad never leave you, never. Come on, right here, Monty, let's go. 
Let's go, man. You go, come on. Good boy. I'd never leave you, Mike. You're my most precious cargo, okay? Yeah, I'd never leave you, no. I would just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So, right now, I am paddling into the wind to get back to our spot. So that means, the whole paddle today, as long as this wind keeps staying this way, we're with the wind, so we are gonna fly. What that means, is I get to spend more time fishing. Oh yeah. I can spend as much time as I want because I'm paddling with the wind on my back. I'm gonna fly. We're gonna be like a nine horsepower speedboat. Well, not a speedboat. We're gonna be like a 12 foot aluminum boat with with the nine horse motor. That's what we're gonna be like. Not a speedboat, mind you. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? But yeah, we'll we'll spend some time here fishing. We got even a let's see. We're an hour and a half earlier start than yesterday. I've been sleeping, I've realized something about myself and that's that I'm just not gonna get up in the morning. <laughs> I'm not gonna sunrise unless I get a long day to do. See, you know, sometimes, I, now, when it comes to fishing in the morning, I usually get up when it's dark out if I'm going uh, in a more popular area, like, back back home or somewhere I'm going to fish for you know it's an hour drive or something and you know it's a popular spot there's lots of other boaters I'll get up at the crack of dawn to get the best fishing possible beat everyone else and you know have a good time but out here the fishing's pretty good most of the day I mean you know I've been having mixed luck sometimes and yeah that's that's probably all my fault it's it's got to be you know, there's lots of fish in this area. They're they're all over. They bite. I just got you know, I'm learning new things, trying new methods, but yeah. I don't really worry about getting up here because I just like to take my time and you know relax. But I do I will say, as much as I love evening fishing, I still personally feel when that sun, when it starts to just get light out, that's the best possible time to go fishing. Hands down. It beats out night every time. For certain fish, I've always had better luck with trout and walleye at night, at like dusk. Seems like trout are like right when the sun's touching the horizon and going down is my best time for trout. And walleyes, as you've seen, has been when the sun is past the horizon. But pike and bass and gills and what everything else, right when the sun's coming up, you can just they go crazy and I'm I'm sure trout are just as good then too and walleye but you know I just I just pretty much fish for the nighttime walleye patrol on that shoreline I think the biggest thing I'm taking away from this trip though is the power of slip bobbers with those power bait leeches that those those work it says on the package it's got 400 times more scent dispersion than other lures and I don't know where they came up with that figure I don't really care if it's you could say it has more you don't need to you don't need to lie and say 400 times more I mean come on so ridiculous number to pick 400 times more than any other bait we're the best just who's gonna look at that and believe that come on come on now <laughs> anyways yeah I'm gonna pack I've only got like two or three left because um, they're very soft and I had the first one I had out I didn't realize, you know, they're a rubber lure. I didn't realize it would dry out just like a real leech. I left it, I left it off the, uh, just on the hook overnight and it was just a dry, just like, just like a real leech would be dried up and a piece of leather. I don't even know if I can use that jig head right now. I'd have to take my knife and cut it off, but it's definitely dry to it. So with this one, the one that's on there has been destroyed, but when the bass, a couple of the bass yesterday, they just, they grab the tail and pull and it rips it right off. It's very soft, so maybe I'll ball it up. But for the walleye, when they're, when it's on the slip barber, they suck the whole thing up. And most of the bass do too. They just suck it, they go, and they get hooked. But 
the bags yesterday, a couple of them were just grabbing the tail and pulling on it, you know, and then just ripped it right off the hook. So that's the only downside. But I do think, I feel like they're probably more cost effective than leeches or about the same. Probably actually, no, they're probably a little worse, but you can keep them. They, they, they just keep at any temperature all the time. You don't have to, you know, and leeches are obviously always gonna be better because they wiggle around and look, they're live. Live bait always wins, but it's a pretty close second. It works pretty dang good. But we're about to, about to get up here, back to where my theory of the jumping suckers. Someone please confirm that or deny that. I thought, I thought it was trout, for sure. Could have been bass. But I really think it was those suckers. It's the only fish I've seen all over. And if they do that, you know, cool. That's, that's something new I've learned. But whatever it was, didn't want to bite. I know I, I feel like a crazy person when I say these suckers, these little mouths were jumping. And they were like, they were getting some air, some of them. But they were feisty, so it could have been them. I don't know. Hard to see. Okay, let's catch some fish. Do you guys want to be my friends? Mr. Duckies, Mrs. Duckies? Hmm? I'll treat you real nice, I'll give you some treats. I'll catch you some fish, we can be friends forever. Deal? Oh, he just pooped. I'm sorry. Hey guys. Wait, no, don't leave, no, don't leave me. Now I know my boat's still at the end of this small portage and it's gonna be just fine, but still got my food pack. I never leave my food pack. Never. It's always nearby. Always by me. fish for the day. Now I'm done fishing here. Just kidding. <laughs> no way. <laughs> that bass did a number on this. Here leech, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna ball it up in a chunk. It doesn't really look like a leech anymore. It's kind of just like a tail. We'll see if it still works. They care if it's like a long piece or not. Hey, Monty, you're doing great. You're a good boy. He's just standing over there on the shore, just like, I don't know what you're doing, but. So, just walking through these shallow reeds here, took a wonderful step and got both boots full of water. So, I got squishy sponges now. Okay, just the one bass and two boots are full of water. I don't know if you can hear the squishy squashy, but yeah. Good job, Matthew. Great. 
It's not raining, but I got wet feet. <laughs> you know, it's always a mixed thing when I get my boots wet again. You know, on one hand, yeah, I've got soaked feet again, and now my boots are upside down dripping into my boat, and I got wet socks on Crocs, but you now they're airing out. They'll be, they'll, they'll get drier as the day goes on through my body heat. Yeah, it's whatever, but on the other hand, when I dump out the water that was in my boots, I'm like, oh, that's what that smell was. <laughs> oh, let's just say, if I were to prepare your food right now, you'd really strongly urge me to wash my hands. <laughs> no, I rinsed them, but it was like, it was like brown milk. <laughs> oh, it's so gross. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right. When it see it's breezy right now, but we're paddling with the wind, so directly with it, and it makes it feel like there's no breeze really. But if I were paddling the other way, it'd be like, kind of. It's not insane right now. It'll pick up. But it is nice going with the breeze. That's for sure. little island here and some down trees now I don't I just got the leech on the slip bobber and I don't got my uh, white thing on there so we'll just give this a try we'll get it to the right depth here just for just for a minute or so because we're it, we're gonna be blowing so I'm not gonna wanna sit here in the wind and bobber fish for too long you know maybe not at all You know what? No, I want it close to that tree. That's right, close enough. Now we got a backwards paddle. You know. Oh. Give it a minute. I'm just gonna have to keep paddling. <laughs> this isn't gonna work out so well. Yeah, we'll just try trolling. I'm not gonna use my deep diver like I said. I'll use this guy. This will still work. It'll get down probably more than five feet, but it's not gonna be our best option for fish right now. It'll it'll work. It's just. I feel like the fish are going to be a little bit deeper than that thing's willing to go. Uh-oh. The wind's... Yeah, but I don't want to deal with a bunch of snags in this wind, so this thing... We'll probably still get a snag with this shallow guy, but... You know, it's better than the, the alternative, getting a snag every five minutes and having to turn around this wind. The rain's starting back up. Monty, you know what that means? You know what that means, pal. It means we gotta bring this line in quick. We've gotta transform our normal Monty into Poncho Monty. And I gotta put my wet muck boots back on. That's not thrilling. <laughs> it's not really raining anymore, but I don't. The, the big open section we gotta go across. And it's probably gonna sprinkle on and off. Maybe it'll rain a little harder. So we're just gonna be safe rather than sorry. 
put the old poncho on the Monty. Oh, 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 if they, hold on, Monty, up here. There you go. There you go, dude. Yeah, now you're ready. Yeah. Monty, that's a good boy. Monty's just like, this thing again? Oh, gosh. Don't worry, Monty. It's better to have it on and it not rain than to not have it on and it rain you get wet. You know? We just got to be safe. It'll rain again. It's going gonna, it's gonna to sprinkle on and off all day. It's pretty cold, so we might as well keep them dry. And it's like a little wind block. Yeah. Oh, that's a good boy. Oh, the rain's back, Monty. There you go. I love my rain day. It's always nice. It's a nice just little little change up, you know? Too much good weather keeps you, you know, you just you're just like, oh this is is this how camping always is? Always sunny skies, no rain, no wetness. Nope. You gotta you gotta take it these uh, rainy days of stride and it's not really bad at all. It's just a light little rain. And it's like really calm and just the sound of the rain hitting my rain jacket, I love it. And you know what else this rain will do in the cold and the cloudiness? It'll get the moose moving around. So maybe, I was thinking that we're going to make it through this whole trip without seeing the moose, but maybe there's hope. There's still hope. You know, if there's moose, there's probably water. If there's water, there's fish. If there's fish, you'll catch them. You know what, we should troll a line. Yeah, this is, I can't not troll, we gotta do it. Even if it's just our little surface guy. Yep, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. This still has potential to get fish. I just, I wish it would get down a little deeper, that's all. That's all, maybe we'll go a little closer to shore, but the shoreline's not like, I don't like trolling close to shore on shorelines that like weave in and out with lots of points. I like to just coast along the points or if there's a straight stretch because I let my line out very far, like 100 feet. Maybe more, I don't know. Maybe probably 150 feet. I let a lot of line out. It's very far back. So when I'm going around points and curves, if I try to turn, it's just gonna catch those points. So I gotta just stay further back. I'm sure I don't need to let my line out as far, but I like to let it out as long as possible so that if Monty makes a shift or I bang the boat, it doesn't affect the fishing at all. And one more thing is that it's very nice that we're going with the wind. Even if it's a slight wind, I can see the, the rain's angled this way, just like that, or wait. It's blowing this way too, and it's going this way. It's like crisscross. Either way, oh yeah, the wind's coming from this way. Over here, it's more like angled that. Anyways, going against the wind would be just all in our faces. Monty wouldn't like it. But with this, it's just kind of hitting the back of my head. Not a big deal. Oops, I let out all my line. Oh, that was close. I wasn't paying attention there. <laughs> the rain and the wind's picking up. We're in the big open middle. Oh, 
<laughs> it's gnarlier out here. We gotta get closer to the shore. Now it's raining. <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> oh. I am 100% dry, except for the feet. <laughs> so I think what we're gonna do is, uh, I was mentioning taking an extra portage or not. It's not very big, it's tiny, it's just a little skip and a jump. But I was gonna take the scenic route, but we would have to paddle straight into the wind for a mile. Oh wait, let's see. Yeah, for around a mile or more, of straight into this windy rain and that doesn't sound appealing so we're just gonna take the extra little portage I don't even think it's really much of a portage it's just a little skip but either way so we're not gonna be going we're going even less further now we're going less far now It looks like no matter what we do, we're gonna be paddling into the wind here for a bit. But it's not very far, depending on how far we go. Everything will be played by ear today. We're gonna to at least make it, uh, we're gonna to have to do some of the wind and at least do a couple portages. Maybe one portage, maybe two, depends. And today we, since we already caught our fish, got our goal for the day, we've only gotta catch a fish tomorrow. I'm not counting the last day because the last day Maybe I'll try, but I am not counting towards my goal of catching a fish because I got a I got a long drive, you know. So I just kind of want to get up, go. I got to move home, so um, get back to the car and not dink around too much. But uh, yeah, we we might not do any fish. We might just get to camp, set up, maybe take a nap, relax. Probably just gonna have a chill day. I'll read a, read my bushcraft book I brought out. Have a little relaxing day. We'll see, maybe the rain lets up. Maybe we slay some fish on the way back. Maybe we find a nice hole of fish, who knows? See what the day brings. But I'll tell you one thing, I do love sitting in my tent or under a tarp in the rain. It's very relaxing. It's one of my favorite things to do. I don't prefer setting up in the rain, but it's not a big deal. You know. Monty doesn't seem to mind the rain right now. <laughs> he's, he's getting a wet nose. <laughs> but it doesn't seem to be bothering him one bit. He's just like, okay, dude. I know. I know the poncho's good. Okay, you win. Seems like the rain stopped for now. Okay. Just a light drizzle. Yeah, it's not so bad. <clears throat> It'll be back, Monty. It'd be nice to be able to set up camp without the rain. That'd be cool. Maybe we'll set up the tarp, maybe we won't. I'd say we'll be to camp in like an hour and a half to two hours. Right around there. There looks like a couple spots where I'm definitely gonna fish. Yeah, I'm getting the itch back to fish already. <laughs> uh. oh, another leak. So I think this one's deep enough and we can use the old fish slayer deep diver. Are we far enough away from sure? 
You know, just to be safe, we're gonna go a little further. I don't want any snags yet. No snags. It kind of stopped raining, just slightly drizzly. I kept the poncho off Monty. Monty, when the poncho's on him, he doesn't get up and turn around as much and shift, which I know he, he likes to. So, if it's not raining, I'll keep it off him for now. We'll just pull up on shore, but when, it, when I put it on, he just lays there and sleeps. He'll get up and then he'll just lay back down. I think, it, I think it, he treats it as like a, a blanket. It's like his little blankie. All right, let's catch a fish. I need another fish to keep me going. A little, little pick-me-up fish, you know? Okay, we are coming up on the portage, and it, there's a river that seems to flow into this lake, I think. And if it looks like it's a nice hole or some nice fishing, we'll take some casts there. It looks like it's a deep little pocket. 20 feet right near the edge, it seems like there's a nice drop off, so maybe. Definitely if it's out of the wind. When you get into the wind, the drizzly picks back up. It's a little more drizzly. Little more drizzly. Drizzly feeling. And this is the section where we gotta paddle into the wind no matter what we do. Oh, I just hope it doesn't start raining. Not gonna wood. It's not super deep right here, but there's running water and I just saw some suckers. So might as well give it a try. Just let it float down with the current. Near the river, we'll cast the. I got, I got, I still got the troller on there. We didn't pick anything up. It seems like not a very good day for fishing, and the barometric pressure actually dropped to 28.35. So it's gone further down. Further down. Okay, I think I just saw a sucker come out of the water, just like last night, and I'm pretty sure it was a sucker. So they might have all been suckers last night. That would explain why I didn't get any bites, because I'm fishing perfectly. I'm not doing anything wrong, so... If there was fish there, I would've caught them.
better. Always feels better after a nice snack. Monty was getting a little testy with his poke in there. He was uh, not really wanting to eat it over his over the over the big jerky bag I had out. Yeah, you, Mister. It's being a little stinker, but all I had to do was tell him no begging. Eat your food. Then he went and ate it. So. I hope it doesn't get to the point where um, the pumpkin's not good enough. He's like so used to it that it's no longer a treat. <laughs> and he just expects it or else he won't eat. I guess that could happen, but I don't think so. Because every time I, even if I bring out his food bowl without the pumpkin, he still just starts eating it. And he loves that pumpkin. I guess, I guess, yeah, you can't get really, like, I don't get sick of fried foods. I don't think Monty will get sick of pumpkin. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. They will just give it, give him no pumpkin one time. And then re-bring it back. And they'll be like, oh yeah, I love this stuff. Okay, so we've got five hours of daylight left. We've got one more teeny portage after this short paddle here. And then we're on that big lake that I was talking about earlier in the trip that we would return to. It's a big old lake and there's tons of campsites and I don't, I kind of want one out of the wind. We're definitely gonna pick a site that's blocked from the wind because the barometric pressure is still what was it? Was it 28.3 or 28.35? Well, it's 28.35 right now. So I'm guessing, since it dropped even more so, that tomorrow's not, it's gonna be like the same. Kind of like how the sunny days, it was the pressure was a little high and it was like the same, it was like another sunny, nice day. So I'm, I'm guessing, like, I'm guessing we're gonna have another rainy, windy, uh, colder day tomorrow. So when I wake up, I would like to not have the wind blast me in the rain, and I'm sure it'll probably still rain tonight and off now. We're probably we're definitely not having a fire, and if it, the weather's like this tomorrow, I don't think the fish is going to be good tomorrow either. We might we might be in trouble, and I don't know if we're going to have a, another fish dinner. These are all up in the air. That depends on if I catch fish, and if it's if it's like this, maybe I'll cook it. Maybe I'll just be like me, just catch and release. Cause I like to cook fish over the fire. I mean, I can cook it over my stove, no problem, but we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. I can do whatever I want. I'll do what I want. But yeah, we're gonna, we're definitely gonna take some time picking a site. If we find a good one right away, that'd be sweet. I'd take it, but we'll take our time. We'll pick a nice spot. Probably gonna have to paddle in some, some big old wind because this lake's all facing the way the wind's coming from right now. And it's a big open lake. Especially on the end we're going to. But we'll just have to make do. Pick a campsite. Find one. There's a good one up in a back bay we could try. That wouldn't be bad. I also I've been I've been carrying something for Monty for the past two portages. The perfect Monty stick. Made by a beaver. Look at that thing. It's got nice flotation. Smooth. I mean, what was it? Oh, oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh no. <laughs> Monty, I'm sorry. I was just kidding. I would. I can't throw. You can't jump out of the boat. Are you crazy? I bet he would. I bet we could get him to do it. Actually, one time, Monty. Uh, Monty's doesn't like to mess around and jump off things that are high and stuff. But uh, we were out with my parents on the pontoon boat on a lake, and their their dog, Cooper, uh, she's a black lab, she just leaped right in, and Monty followed. I was so surprised. He just leaped off the boat to the water. He never does that. He's not that type of dog, but he did it last year. I'm curious to see if he'll do it again this summer. It'd be pretty sweet. I hope he does. And I hope, I hope Ruger, Ruger's still a water sissy. He'll go out, if like I threw the stick to here, 
It's too far. It has to be like another five feet in towards shore. But he's got to get over that because he can swim just fine. He just like what he does is like if he can't see the stick, he'll just like sit still and just go, and then he gets all freaked out. I'd like him to swim like Monty across lakes, but we'll see. We'll try. We're gonna work with him hard this summer on swimming. Now that he's a free spirit and he can freely go outside, free of the blasto. Ooh, it looks like we might be able to squeeze through the next spot. It's a narrow little hole. Ooh. Oh, I don't. I. Well, we're gonna have to probably get out of our boat either way, but maybe we can just pull through that. Looks like just a little, little measly foot-long portage. Maybe we can avoid it. It's too much work to get out of the boat and carry my stuff five feet. That's too much work. Too much work. It's kind of deep here and there's water rushing in. Oh no, there's big rocks. I am gonna switch to my old white thing and we're gonna try a few casts here. Yeah. What is it? We got a dead sucker or something? until we lose our first our white thing and then we will keep moving hopefully it's not super fast Got something. Oh, there we go. Hey. Oh, 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 get around here. Ooh, that's a nice smallmouth. Come on. There we go. All right. Hey, -o. Check that guy out. There we go. Told you the white thing works. Now we can totally have fish dinner if we want, but we're gonna let this guy go. Okay, let's try again. Oops. Oh, I just farted. <laughs> that one's gonna stink. I thought I had a snag right away, it bit so fast. Oh, I want to get caught in the current. Ooh. It scared me. There's got to be walleye here too. Seems like a nice hole back here. There we go. Ooh, that's a big smallmouth. Ooh, that's a porky piggy. Ooh. That's a nice one. Oh yeah. Come on. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. Come here. Holy crap! Holy crap! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Look at that behemoth! Oh my gosh! That's bigger than the one I caught yesterday. Holy crap! 
Oh man, that's a big bass. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that thing. That's a monster. All right, this porky piggy is 20 inches and he feels heavy. It's hurt my arm holding him up, so we gotta let him go. Let's let him free. I'm good on this spot. Two fish and three casts, I'm definitely done. We need to keep moving. We need to keep moving on with our day. Yeah, definitely 100% gonna stop fishing. The spot's fished out, you know, I just, I, we gotta move on. We, we got stuff to do. Yeah. <laughs> no way. <laughs> We're spending a good two hours here. <laughs> Oh man. I love fishing these spots near the end of moving water because you don't have to do anything. You just cast it out and let the water provide all the action for your lure. You do get snags. You get a lot of snags, but you get a lot of fish too. Oh, there was almost a snag. There's a snag. Oh, dang it. That's a snag. Now we're getting snag after snag. Oh, what the heck? I think we got a log. Oh, that was a weird snag. That felt very weird. Almost like it wasn't a snag, but it was a snag. Oh, that lake looks nasty. The wind is rough out there. We are gonna have a tough time when we get over there. It just looks, it just blasts in this end. Another snag, we'll have to reset. Snag. Over there, or a mink. A hairy otter. <laughs> I think it was a mink. Gonna catch further down. Snag. There we go. There we go. Ooh, is this a walleye? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. What? We're having fish dinner tonight. <laughs> oh, man. 
That's right. That's right. I get to choose what I want to do. <laughs> See, it's all fun and games until you throw a walleye at me. You know? I'm just like, yeah, you know, yeah, this is fun, this is fun, this is fun, this is fun. We're not having fish dinner. No, no way, no way. And then I catch a nice walleye, and I'm just like... That kind of looks like it would taste good. Fried up with some butter with some onions and garlic and then lemon drizzled over it in Montreal and served with a side of mashed potatoes. Ooh! <laughs> All right, let's see if we can pick up one more. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to feast tonight with my teeth. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be good. Might as well. We're going to have so much time at camp. Yeah, we've got four hours of light left. Four, four hours and 15 minutes, so... I'm going to still keep fishing here for another good hour or so, and uh, yeah, maybe we'll catch another walleye. Ah. Oh, that was easy. Ooh, this is a sm uh, small bass. Ooh, that's a large mouth. Look at that skinny little thing. I think this is the smallest fish I've caught all trip. Goodbye. Quick cast. I think the action works pretty well when you drift down river like this and let your lure just drag behind you. Oh, but then you're bound to snag like that. Oh. Little mink over there. there'd be walleye here. This is what I've been looking for the whole time, this kind of rushing water with this hole. That's exactly what I've been looking for. Ah, snag. Ooh, got another one. I don't know what it is. Feisty bass. Oh yeah. Oh, he's a feisty guy. Ooh. Ooh, that's a big one. Dang. Oh man, these are such big bass. <laughs> I've never caught so many monsters, one after the other. This is awesome. That is just a pig. Look at that thing. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Now I know what you're thinking. You're going for fish dinner, why wouldn't you keep that and eat that? Well, that bass is too big. I don't like to keep them when they're that big because big fish make even bigger fish when they reproduce. So that one, maybe if like I hadn't caught a fish the whole trip, or I was really fighting for a fish dinner and I caught that guy, I'd eat him. But if I already got a walleye, I'm just, I just want another smaller fish. I don't want another monster because then it'll just be too much. I'll be a too much. And I don't like to keep them that big. You know what, we keep getting snags. I'm gonna try this slip bobber and just park over on the side here and just float it down the moving water and see what that does. And we're just gonna fish for like another 20 minutes and then we're gonna get this terrible windy paddle out of the way. It's gonna be a rough one. I can see it, there's just white caps. It looks rough, it looks rough out there. There's pretty much just one big section we have to get past, and then we're going to hover around islands. So the first paddle is going to be the worst paddle. So once we start, we can't stop. I'm, I might not, I'll try to record some, but I'm going to focus on paddling because it's windy out there. Monty, you prepared? You're a good boy. I'll give you a whole bunch of beef drink when we get to, when we get to camp, okay? All right, we're going to see if we can skip this portage. It looks like I can, but if it's too deep in the channel, I can't get out and walk it. We'll just, we'll just do it quick. We'll try though. Oh. Nice. 
ready? Oh, she's a windy one. Ooh, I gotta make sure I got good footing for you. It's not terrible. Monty's such a good boy. When it gets crazy weather or like crazy wind that we have to paddle through, he just tucks his head in and lays down. He's just like, oh, it's a little too windy. I'll just put my head back here. Oh. Oh, he's doing it again. Grony Monty. That seagull, not the one flying, but the other one. It's standing on water. How is it doing that? How on earth? I'm just kidding. Standing on a rock. That last campsite was, it showed it on the back side of the island out of wind, but it was on the opposite side getting blasted by the wind. So that one's a no, no, no go. Now uh, there's one up right ahead to the left that looks okay wind-wise, but there's one that's like a mile, it'd be like a mile and a half paddle straight into the wind. It's down a big narrow channel with straight edges and it, uh, it would be definitely blocked. So we're going to see first if this one coming up here is decent, but if it's not, we might battle the wind and get that one at the end. And there's another one we could check out along the way, but it'd be a, it'll be windy. I don't know if I want to do that right now. <laughs> we'll see. Let's see if this one's good first. If this one's poop, we might have to battle some wind. This one looks somewhat promising. I don't know, it's like an open swamp. If that wasn't swamp and just all shallow trees would be blocked from the wind. We'll see, we'll have to see when we're sitting there. It might be blocked from the wind, I can't tell from here. Mm. Okay. This ain't bad. Got a nice view. And we've got ourselves a nice blocked spot. Nice spot for the, look at this. It's like the flattest most open spot so far of the trip. And we've got wind blockage. This will do. This is where we're setting up for the night. The only problem is, is there is goose poop everywhere. I mean, look at that, there's goose poop there. Monty, you better not eat that goose poop. He's hunting, he smells it. Look at that goose poop there. There's goose poop all over. 
This looks like, what kind of poop is that? Wolf poop? I don't know, it's weird. Monty, why is there so much poop? Monty? What are you doing up on that rock, Monty? You silly. <laughs> Come here, Monty. Good boy, Monty. Hi. Hi, Monty. Do you want a treat? Do you want to go for the dog park? Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, so. I think we're gonna try to have a fire tonight too. Ooh, there's a dry spot right here. I might have to stick the camera right here in a minute because uh, it's starting to rain again. It's getting a little drizzly. It's not crazy yet. If it does start to rain, I'm probably gonna put away the DSLR and just stick to GoPro for a while. But for now, I got it under a big old white pine and that should be protected. There's a, this spot's definitely bone dry right here. But right, right here I can feel it drizzling on me. But I'm gonna do a quick setup here. And yeah, I think we're gonna have a fire tonight. Um, I think because it didn't rain, it's not been raining for days, it's just today. And so the wood's not soaked. All I need to do is find a couple of dead down pieces. Um, and the center should be bone dry. And we'll just have to process up a bunch. And since we've got two and a half hours of daylight left, I'm gonna get set up here and we're probably gonna process up a whole bunch of firewood and just burn a long fire tonight. That's the plan anyways, we'll see if we can find wood. Hopefully there's a bunch of wood. I mean, I'm sure there is. We'll, we'll have no problem finding it. We'll just have to spend more time getting it. I just gotta be careful not to throw myself at goose poop. It's everywhere. Mind you, you're probably sitting on a pile of goose poop right now. I already stepped in goose poop like twice. Saying goose poops. Is that goose poop? I I, oh, it is goose poop. I don't want that there. I'm starting to I'm starting to sweat with this on here. <sighs> so look at that. I was just like, no fish dinner today, no fire today, and now we're gonna try to have a fish dinner and a fire. <laughs> oh, how indecisive am I? Hey, Monty. And guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna, oh, we got you the perfect stick. Let's go get that, and then I can I can super task. <laughs> good boy today. Have you been a good boy? Have you? All day? You been good? I brought you a little special something. I carried it around all day. Remember you tried to chase it in the boat? It's this. Do you want oops, the perfect stick? You do? Oh yeah. That's a nice. Oh okay okay okay. You like the look of this? Is this nice? This is a great. Hey, 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 okay. <laughs> First throw, right up into a tree. <laughs> Monty, you gotta catch it. You gotta get it, remember? See it, Monty? See it right there? Look, Monty. Get it, Monty, get the stick. Get it, Monty, get it, Monty. Get it, Monty, get it, Monty, get it, get it, get it, Monty, get it, get it, good boy, good boy, get it, come on, you're so heavy, oh. Oh. come on, Monty, get that stick, get the stick, Monty, get it, Monty, get it, Monty, get the stick, Monty, get it, no, no, it's not gonna work, you're, you're, you're so heavy, Monty, all I wanted to do, I know you saw it. Okay, 
All right, now I'm out of breath. Oh man, Monty, did anyone tell you you're a dense, heavy turd nugget and you got a big booty? Because that... You ever try to lift a 70 pound Monty over your head? Oh, that one's in a tree too, but he can get that one. Get him, Monty. Whew, he just, I don't, I thought he was better than that. I thought he was gonna grab it for sure. Prove me wrong. He, he definitely, he saw it and he was like, just for one second, and I was just like, nah, you grab that stick. You grab it, Dad. I can't be bothered by this. I can only grab it if it's on the ground. Okay, I'm just gonna set up here quick, get it all set up, uh, get things around, get my sleep stuff around. You've already seen this process like 10 times this trip. Well, couldn't have, but a bunch of times. So, um, I'm gonna keep throwing the stick for Monty, and then as soon as I'm all set up, we're gonna get some firewood, and a whole bunch of it, and process that up. Oh man, the funniest thing just happened. Um, Monty was sitting there with his back turned to me, chewing his stick, just having a grand old time and I finished blowing up the sleeping pad, did the whole and I grabbed it and he came charging at me going no, 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 stop, stop don't, no, not right now, no, we can't it's too quiet but yeah, he, he just came charging over me I wonder why that is Monty, huh? Monty, what? Why? Why is it? Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that, huh? Give it here. Give it here, Monty. Ow! Monty, give it here. Whoa! Monty, you're threatening me with that stick. I don't appreciate that. What a little monster! I love the little. That, he clunked me. Oh my gee. Come here, Monty. He's just dead dogging it right now. Oh, look at his eyes open a little bit. A little bit, just a little crease, oh, a little bit more. Oh, oh, and they're closing again. And they're gone. And they're gone. We got camp set up. We got a beautiful view out here. I had to get some water. And then it's time to collect some firewood. It's turned out to be a beautiful evening. Probably gonna have to do some night fishing. <laughs> this looks like it should be some nice dry on the inside wood. Oh yeah, this feels light. Yeah, there's a big white pine up above. This is all from this white pine, I think. So it's under here, it's all dry.
Oh yeah, Alex. That's nice firewood. Oh. Okay, that should be a start. Rain started again. Why don't you come here? Yeah, the rain started again. Okay. We've got some wood to process up here. Monty, you're gonna have to just get used to it. See if this is it's felt like decent wood. Oh yeah, that's good stuff right there. Side of that is perfectly dry. Ooh, it smells nice. That'll make some good firewood. Oh, it's not obvious already. Um, I had I had set up the tarp because it was raining. See, the insides are going to be nice and dry, this stuff. Try to keep it off the ground. As long as it's most of the way dry.
think that uh, that'll be enough firewood for the uh, evening. Oh yeah, that'll do. <sighs> so, we've got camp all set up. We've got all the firewood we need for tonight. We've even got a fish. It's rainy and drizzly out. We got the tarp up, we've got water, and we've got 20 minutes till the sun sets. The question is, do we go fishing, go out and troll for another walleye, Mr. Walter, Walter the second, to uh, allow Monty to feast with us, or do we not? Let's grab our magic Monty. Just give him a shake. <laughs> what does he say? He says, I don't care what we do as long as you stop shaking me and put me down. Okay. Fishing it is. Fishing it is, my tea. You wanna go fishing? You wanna treat? You wanna go to dog park? Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, look at that booty, look at that booty. Look at that booty, that fuzzy butt. Do you wanna go fishing? Do you wanna go fishing? Do you wanna go fishing? Yeah. Take like, right, take beef jerky. Beef jerky and I'll go. All right, you want beef jerky? Beef jerky will go. Let's see what we got in here. All right, Monty, for your fishing services for the day from earlier, you already got some. Let's see it. That's that's for earlier, and we're gonna pay you in advance for fishing right now. Here's a little nugget. There's another nugget. We're running out, Monty, and there's a little bit more. Really low. The rest is for tomorrow. All right, one more nugget. There you go. All right, our match has been paid. Let's go fishing. Hey, Monty. Okay, we're not getting fancy schmancy. We're not getting glamorous and cast and stuff. We're sticking to one thing that we know works for nighttime walleye, and we're gonna use it. So we're just gonna go trolling for a good hour. And see if we can pick anything up. The sun is setting right now. So the sun so it'll be the next hour will be great fishing. We're looking for one medium to small walleye. Mr. Walter. Walter Jr. We don't want a big one. I'll have, I'll have to let it go if it's too big. I don't want a massive one. That's too much food. It's too much too much fish. I mean, I could probably eat it, it's just, you know. I think I got one. I just started trolling right out front of camp. <laughs> oh, it came off. I think. Oh no, it's still there. <laughs> it's been two minutes. Wow. That'd be crazy if it's a walleye and it's like perfect size. <laughs> oh my god, I'm excited. Oh my gosh. What is it? 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 Oh, it's 
decent, whatever it is. I think it's a bass. Oh, it's a kite. We're gonna let him go. Pike would be delicious, but I don't want to want walleye. Bye bye. This area is all too windy. We're actually just gonna go troll back in front of camp because it was just like a nice, it's like 10 feet deep. It's like perfect if I go slow. I feel like that's where they're gonna be. So we're gonna head back towards camp and just go back and forth. But there's pike there. It's probably walleye too.
Okay, so we just got the one. Got the fire going. Just the one, Walter. Oh. I'm just filtering some water now. Airing out my feet, they're so soggy. <laughs> they're so soppy and soggy and stinky. Monty thinks this is an endless bag of joy. Sometimes it is, Monty. Like right now. I'm gonna have some candy. And you can't have any. Because dogs don't eat candy. There was a whippoorwill really close to camp back there and it was setting Monty off. He was so alert and just like upset by it. I'm cooking some socks on the fire. Some wet stinky socks. Mm-hmm. So as soon as my water's done filtering, we're gonna get preparing dinner. I'm excited. I get, I get excited every time I eat food. Mm-hmm. Let's prepare up some dinner. Let's do it. I'm hungry. <clears throat> Let's start with that onion. It's getting a little... Ooh. It's getting a little soft. No. Uh -oh. Let's see if we can just chop off that end. We don't want that either. Okay, the rest of it looks good. Ah, it's, it's hard to cut. Okay, add that to the pan. Well, if it rains too hard, I'm gonna have to put the camera under the tarp. We got our garlic though. Okay, I'm going to add this to the pan, and then we're going to be using up the rest of this butter, but for right now, I'm just going to put a chunk in there. Okay, since it's starting to rain, I'm going to put the butter in the pan, and I'm going to go flay up my fish, and uh, yeah, I'm going to go do that and put the camera under the tarp for now. Just putting a little chunk of starter butter, okay. All right, we gotta hide this stuff. Hey, there's our beautiful walleye fillets. First things first, Monty's gonna get the little belly fat stuff. Of course. Get a little snickle fritz. He's not gonna get a ton, because uh, I failed to catch him a, another fish. Or another walleye. We could have kept those bass. We could have even kept the small bass. I probably should have kept the small little bass and fed it to Monty, but that's okay. He's just going to be fine. That's about all he's going to get. Just a little... Just... Look at me funny. Just a little bit more fish. Just a little bit more. I need, I need it more. He's got dog food and pumpkin. Alright, that's enough for him. I'm not even gonna feel bad about it, Monty. I'm done feeling bad. I spoil you, and you spoil me. We spoil we. Okay, let's get cooking. 
cook it. I was just looking at the ground with my headlamp changing clothes and look what I happened to find right in front of our tarp. Just under a little bit of uh, pine needles. It's like a double treble hook leader and then a sinker's attached to a hook. Yeah, that would have been really fun if Monty stepped on that and hooked and sunk that right into his puppy pad. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh man, that would have sucked. Okay. Let's cook it on here. I need to get some water going for my baby red skin mashed potatoes. Perfect. Get Monty's little meager portion on there. Okay. Oops. That was excitement for fish fart. Watch all these night crawlers as they run away. Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! <laughs> There's a whole bunch over here too. Run away! Watch this guy, look at this. He's stretched way out. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Look at this guy. Run away! <laughs> Ooh, there's some more. Oh, oh, oh! Look at them all run, 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 run! <laughs> run away! <laughs> oh man! Yeah, most of the recordings gonna have to go from right there because it's raining out again and uh, that's kind of under a white pine that's as close as I can get well it might have stuck, I don't know it's still going it's not heavy rain I just don't want to ruin my camera oh yeah gotta get this simmered up first and then we throw the fish in oh yeah I will say Probably the most delicious campfire fish so far was that last camping video with the rainbow trout. That salsa, that lime, cilantro, jalapeno deliciousness. That was pretty... I don't know, that was top notch. But you need, you need some extra stuff for that one, so... This is, a, this is a good secondary one. This one's pretty dang delicious. For an extended trip, this is as good as it gets for me. Oh, it's actually raining pretty good now. The only reason it doesn't seem so bad over the only reason it doesn't seem so bad over here is because there's, there's that big white pine. Okay. Mashed potatoes going in. Oops. Oh, oh. I want to make a mess. Oh geez, can't get this over the heat. Well, oh, it's, it's definitely raining. I'm gonna have to hide that camera in a minute. Okay. Man, I am so gassy right now. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, that's good. Now we're going to add in the rest of our butter, the last of it. Oh, we don't want that paper in there. The last of the butter is going in. There he is. Oh, get him, Auntie. Get him. Get him. 
Watch out for those knives. Where'd he go? I bet he's still under there, Monty. Get him, Monty. Get him. Alright, butter's melted. I'm going to kind of lay our pieces in a little differently today. I'm going to kind of scoop all the onions to the side and lay the fish right down and then let the butter kind of swirl underneath. I wonder if that'll, it'll cook better that way. It's not working quite out how I planned, how I envisioned it. Let's get some Montreal in there. Oh, there it is. And you add that Montreal. And it brings it to that whole nother level. Okay. I'm hiding the camera now. Actually, you know what? Let's give it one more story before I had this camera. Stop farting. It's excitement over the fish, I swear. Oh man, that's gonna be divine. Alright, mine's about done, so I need to get my fees ready. Oh my dear, it's hot. Don't worry, we'll get it we'll get it to the right consistency. A little magic powder. Okay. And this crap. Now we just need to give it a minute to cool down, Monty. Don't worry, it'll just take just a minute. And I'll add cold water to it if it's not cooled down by the time my food's ready, okay? Okay. Mine is done. So what we're going to do is something a little different than normal. First off, we're going to do the, the good old, the good old, let me get that schmutz out of there. I think we got a little rain water in our lemon juice, but that's okay. Ooh. Okay, and now what we're going to do that's different from the usual. And add all my mashed potatoes into this pot so that when I want to, I can mix the flavor of the lemon and the butter and the fish all together. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, let's eat. All right. 
right, Monty. Let me just. Oh. Oh. Let me just make sure yours is. Yours is a little. It's gonna be a little warm for your liking. So just a little bit of this. I know it's a little soupier. But you don't mind, it's fishy, watery, pumpkin-y. Let's see. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, Monty. You've been a good boy all day. I couldn't have done it without you. You couldn't have done it without me. <sighs> Night six, third walleye dinner. You ready? You ready to eat some more walleye, Monty? <laughs> He's so ready. Okay, go ahead. All right. Let's just dive on in. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, it's always so good. Let's make some mashed potatoes this time. Mmm. Oh, I do love mixing. Oh, yeah. Mmm. I forgot what I was going to say. Mm. When it's rainy and gnarly out, fish dinner kind of seems sometimes like more of a daunting task. But once you get to this point, I do love mixing the pumpkin or the potatoes up with a little bit of that lemony buttery goodness. This is definitely not going to fill me up. But I've got some uh, I've got tons of granola bars. <laughs> I've gotten I feel like I stretched my stomach out pretty bad. That darn rice because I've been able to eat so much every night. Normally, last year's portion was six ounces, and a portion and a half put me put me out. Now it's seven, and I'm eating a portion and a half, and I'm just like, meh, you know, meh. Before my camera fries from sitting in the rain. Excuse me. I apologize for all my gassiness. <laughs> it's just terrible right now. Nothing I can do. It just keeps wanting to come out and say hello. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna put away my camera before it fries from being sitting in the rain. It doesn't sound like it's raining, but it's definitely raining. It's just because we're under this white pine over here. Throw the rest of my firewood. Feed Monty some treats. Some after dinner treats. I bet he prefers his dinner over these, but they're still good. Pumpkin and cranberry 
These were also sent to me. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll take the. Monty's all wet because he refused to sit on the sleeping pad here most of the time and just been wandering around in the rain. Okay. I love these sounds over here. Very peaceful. I hope it rains all night. Did that work? <laughs> Monty, I tried. You wanna sit pretty, twirl? You wanna do any of those things? You wanna twirl? Oh, you're still willing to, huh? Good job, good boy. You didn't really need to, I was gonna give it to you anyways. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to clean up my mess, clean up all my stuff here, get it, everything ready uh, to go into the tent, and uh, we need to towel dry this guy and brush him out a little bit, because he's a sopping wet mess. So you're, after this stuff, Monty, you're next on the agenda. I mean, we're going to get in the tent. Hey, you ready for bed. He likes this one. Oh. Yes. He loves the towel. Yes, he does. Oh, he wants a booty. He wants a booty. Yeah. I'm sorry, Monty. Oh, look at the face. Oh, you're just swimming in towels. You're just swimming in towels. Oh. Oh. This side. Oh, yeah. Okay, now, Monty, the thing you despise. Come here. Come here. I know. It'll help dry you out. Like, no! Stay there. You're doing great, Monty. Can we get this? Your booty. Okay, come here. Final round of this. Okay, Monty. Let's go to bed. Run away from the moisture. Come on, Monty. Come here. Monty, come on. Come, Monty. Go ahead, go ahead, go, 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 all right. That light's bright. <laughs> Monty, what are you doing? No, don't lick. Okay, he's gonna lick, I have no choice. He won't, he won't listen to me. He's, he's a madman when he's got a little dampness, but uh, yeah, good meal. Great day of fishing, it turned out. I thought it was gonna be a poopy fish day. But yeah, it was a good one. You know, we caught that bass in the morning. And then uh, most of them we caught at that little rapid spot. And then we caught a pike here at the end. Caught a, I don't know, we caught, what? Four, five bass, one walleye and a pike. That was a pretty good day, yeah. And I mean, I, I was trolling most of the day. We weren't really casting crazy hard. But I know those always, those rapids work great. But anyways, I'm full now. I'm tired. It's raining. So it's got me in relaxation mode. So I'm ready to pass out and listen to this. I hope it goes all night long. It'd be sweet if it stopped in the morning, but that's fine. Tomorrow's our last day. I'll take another rain day. It doesn't matter. It doesn't bother me. I would like some thunder and lightning. Maybe not while we're traveling, but I'd like some thunderstorms. Hopefully it's tonight they come rolling in. That'd be perfect. That's exactly what I'd want. Actually, it'd been pretty sweet if it was happening like while you're sitting under the tarp. But anyways, I'm going to bed. I will catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody.